everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I've been extremely busy. My uh, Etsy store was almost empty, so I decided to make a bunch of things. Uh, first of all, it's great for my um, my hundred things challenge. Uh, second of all, I had not been making a lot of things recently because I've been sick, and so I decided that uh, it was time to make more. So I've been extremely busy making all of these things. I'm hoping that you're gonna love them. I have, there's a bunch of items that you will see me make in the in future videos, um, and some that you might have seen already. But uh, yeah, so here is all the stuff I made. So I made this journal here uh, with an old book that's called Light of the Morning. It's by Mrs. L. T. Mead, and so. I've uh, reinforced, I, I really wanted to keep the spine and the way it looked. I love the vintage look of it. So therefore I, um, I just put some book tape on it to make sure to, uh, that it would stay and uh, would not be broken. So this is the type of book that libraries use. I've made a charm to put on the spine because I just love that. It's put on a little... Um, little ring here so you can remove it if if it's something that annoys you um, but I think it's it's very cute with this um, this book so this book measures seven and a half by five and it's one and a half and a quarter inch um, all the pages in it have been tea dyed well most of them and um, I hear the closure is made with lace and I've reinforced it with um, some eyelets and uh, so inside it I tried to I wanted to keep some of the pages of the book so I made them into signatures and I've stitched a but there's many things that are stitched in here here I made a pocket I've put in some tabs and the library card so when you open it up you've got all kinds of ephemera there's actually 25 pieces of ephemera in this uh, including these items um, there's two charms that have um, banner and paper clips um, and then there's four charms four paper clips with uh, lace which I just thought they were really really cute so there's all kinds of ephemeras and like I said it's been uh, stitched and uh, I just really love how it turned out and I hope that you guys will love it too. So there's all kinds of paper, ledger paper, music. See, that has been stained. And I love how it, um, I use a pan that has uh, holes in it and I love the look of it. So I kept the content page because I just loved it. So this is the back of the signature. Then you've got another signature and this is the beginning of the book. And some more here I've stitched, I made a pocket. And um, I've used scrapbooking paper, I've used book pages. There's also, this is um, Midori paper. Here I've made a little book, Toujours Ensemble, and it's made with uh, some of the tea stained um, uh, pages. When I get the F cuts. Here, I just love that somebody wrote their name in it so I kept it I kept the page I just loved it this is ma made out of um, a map uh, the, the this the pocket itself but on um, some thicker paper I can't really describe that paper it's kind of neat so I made a little pocket and you can you could journal something here if you want so some uh, and the, the the atlas page the leftover that's what I used here Got another little charm, and I don't know if I noticed like the the little um, lace charms. I've used a lot of my lace. I've put some some cards, of course, because I love it. And um, there's some um, flashcards, and here's another at uh, the back pocket. And this is an old uh, receipt, and uh, so I've included it. It's vintage. And here I've included the image that was at the beginning. And, uh, and then uh, go through this. And this is the end of the book, which is the end. And here there's another pocket and I've put some bridge pages in here. So this is the first book, the first journal I wanted to share with you. Um, 
these journals will be in my Etsy store and I will be putting down in the description box below the link to them. So if you're interested, um, go and get them. And I hope that you guys are. Uh, it really encourages me and it pays for the supplies that I've used for uh, making the videos for you guys. So that's how I use the money I make on these things. So hopefully you guys will like them. And the next one is Charles Rex by Ethel M. Dell. It's the same size, seven and a half by five by one and a quarter. Oh, I forgot to say, both books have four signatures of seven pages each. So that means uh, the back and forth, um, front and back makes 56 pages. Okay, so on this one, I put a charm on the top because I just thought it needed something because the other one had a beautiful picture, but this one didn't. So I've added this uh, beautiful brooch. It's the same type of closure. And I've also made a charm for this one, but in blues because I just thought it was it went with this. And I love this here. I really love how that turned out. So this is the back. And again, I've reinforced the, uh, the spine to make sure that it would be la long lasting. This one I didn't put pockets in the front. I just put this beautiful paper. I again used some of the pages from the book, but not as many. And it's the same thing. I've used all kinds of papers. Um, it's been tea dyed, it's been stitched, and um, I've used Midori paper as well. I've got the same. Here I've used some other um, pages from an old encyclopedia that I thought was beautiful. So I've used that on here as well. And I've put just as many uh, of the paper clips as well. So I really love how those turned out. And uh, so this one has little keys. And then there's the, um, the, the lace paper clips. So again, you've got another beautiful pocket with that's been stitched. And some more book pages. And here there's also a little booklet. But obviously they're all different because, well, it's handmade and I don't have the same, uh, I'm using all of my scraps and everything that I can as well as some of the ephemeras that I have been hoarding. And so I've been, I decided to use them in stuff that I would put out for sale for you guys. So I really, really hope that uh, you guys like it. So this is a doily that's been stitched and it makes a tuck spot, which I really love. And I really love this card too that I've included. This one says, believe everything is possible to the ones who believe. I just think it's it's uh, it's from Mark uh, 9-23, I think. So I really, really love how it turned out. And this was part of the book originally. And uh, again, I've included all kinds of things and I've added the end the last page as the uh, the end page so those are the two journals that I've made and that are now going on sale um, I don't have any more journals in my store I think so those are the only two that I have at the moment now I decided to make something else um, that's much different from what I usually make and I'm trying to find uh, I had the inspiration uh, I think it's lyric uh, clover that showed how to make albums um, folder albums with paper um, scrapbook paper but I adapted this as my own um, she used double-sided paper and I decided to to use single side because I have a lot of those. So I made them with that. I've added uh, all kinds of stuff, lace and stuff, and I've embellished them inside with items that I've made. Um, I was also inspired by um, Leanne, who's made the uh, folders. But like I said, I wanted this to be my own, to be different, and I wanted it to be more personalized and not just uh, regular ephemera. I figured maybe you guys would appreciate uh, buying things that are unique so so that's why I did that uh, so on the it's they're all made from the same paper collection I've used all of it I'm very happy uh, like uh, 
like um, ah, I forget what her name is, but from Labor Clover, uh, she says I killed uh, a paper pack. Well, finally I did that with this one, which I totally love, but I've had it forever, so it, it was nice to be able to use all the leftover pieces. Um, so basically, it's nine. This is nine inches by four and a half uh, by uh, an inch and a and a half actually when you op close it off because there's so much goodies in there. And I've used again some ephemeras that I've had and been ordering. I've put some lace as well as this beautiful um, lacy thing. And I've been ordering that too, so I've used all of what I had of that one. So kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm happy. So here, is, when you open it up, uh, it's been distressed. And we, when you open it up, there's um, four pages with pockets. And inside each one, I've, done, uh, I've put in some items. So uh, I've put in a bookmark that's been made with um, some um, paint chip ephemera and uh, that I've made and I've I love the images that were on the back so I've used a page that didn't look too good and I've uh, changed it up here I've put some flowers that were made with my painty papers and uh, you saw me make those painty papers and uh, some said that they love the purple well that's where it went um, so this these paper uh, the, these uh, flowers the set of three, uh, this is, is three inch, this one is two and a half inch, and this one is a, an inch and three quarters. So they're all handmade, all different, because obviously it's painty papers and I've used all kinds, and plus some book papers. And all the buttons, uh, by the way, have been end stitch. So it takes a while to make this. So here I've included a napkin, which I've removed the backing so it, it would fit better. Uh, there's some uh, Japanese text and as well as a beautiful little card that I thought was really really fun it has some um, it has some uh, details of uh, houses and stuff so la maison ancienne maison des brasseurs 1644 près de la tour des drapiers um, so it gives some information um, and I, I just thought they were beautiful here I've enclosed one of the postcards that I've made and uh, so it's handmade obviously so there, like I said there's a lot of handmade pieces here I've made some tickets which you will see this week being made so I've included a set of those here I, I just think they're so cute so this is the one that's in here and I've also made some uh, some um, tabs and I've put eat I've put some of them, um, I just love the sound of this. So I've put some of this um, tree, well, pattern paper that you use to make a dress pattern type of thing. And I've added some, uh, some things and I've stitched it all around. And I've used, I've added here some, um, some more of the, the pattern thingy um, in blues and I thought it was kind of fun. Here are some painty borders, so two of them. Here there's a little charm with a border and there's an image and a bingo card and then there's these little albums that I've made with leftover pieces of uh, tea dyed paper. So so this is the first one and they'll all be by theme so this one will be called Memories. So they're all made the same way uh, except that obviously what's inside them differs because I can never make exactly the same thing. So it's all the same type of items, but different. So here, this one is called is going to be called Bingo. And when you open it up, it has this one. It has this bookmark. And with this, I just love those pages. I just think they're so cute. And then this is the paper, the flowers that are included in this one. And then uh, there's a napkin again. This one has a, the little church. More Japanese paper. It has this beautiful postcard. And then uh, it has these. I won't take out the the um, the, ta the um, tab because it's the same. But here's the ticket, which is different. More painty borders. Another little um, uh, paper clip charm. Some uh, images from encyclopedia, bingo cards, 
and this one has this as the little booklet. So I'm sorry if it takes a long time to show all of this to you guys. I, like I said, I worked really, really hard on all of these and each of these counted as one item on my list of 100 things items. So I made six of them, so I'm quite happy with them. And then obviously what I included inside also counted. So this one is gonna be called Adventure. And uh, let's open it up. And I, I really love how they turned out. You can use what's inside, then you could use put something else inside them. So this one has this as the bookmark. I love these images. So the, the flowers, and like you can see the flowers, they're all a bit different. Uh, this one, ha it's kind of neat because it has the um, cellophane from the envelope, so it's kind of clear. So I, I really thought that was fun. And then uh, this one has uh, this uh, napkin and card, and then this postcard, which you will see make tomorrow. And then you've got this ticket, some painty borders, a little um, paper clip, a little image. I just love that little girl, so I had to include that. And then the little booklet. And now I'm thirsty, so sorry, I need to take a bit of water. lots to show you okay so this one is going to be called the um, birdcage because it has a little birdcage on top so this one has this has a bookmark with this as a background I love both sides uh, I just think it makes great uh, bookmark these are the flowers Okay, so I had to cut off my video because the phone was ringing. So I'm starting over on this uh, section. So here I've got this type of napkin. I've got a um, Japanese page. Then I've got this here, which is a Setsu Seleb. And then I've got this beautiful postcard that I love. And this one, see, it's it's got a double stamping. But I, th I think that's kind of still fun because it's unique and and it's handmade and yeah, it is what it is. And these are the tickets. And then there's the two borders, the two painty borders. And then this is the, the, the image. Then you've got the paper clips and the little book. So this one is the bird cage. And I really love how they turned out. I was quite happy and I've used up a lot of paper because when you think about it, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five sheets of paper in this, so it's pretty cool. So this one is love, lots and lots of love, makes life worth living, you can say that again. And I really love how the cover turned out. And so this is what is inside. So this is the, the bookmark, and these are the flowers. And then this is the postcard. These uh, the same Japanese papers, a napkin and folklore. And then this is the the little tickets, the borders, the little images. They're little kids. This is a little angel, and then a little book. Told you I made a lot of stuff. It was uh, it was fun, but it's a lot. So I'm not sure if I'll ever have a release that's going to be that big again. This is joie, and uh, I've put a little uh, bit of twine here. This is the little bookmark. I've used up the second uh, little thing like that. I really love that one. I was really happy to use it up and you probably saw me do these well no maybe not not yet this is a little postcard the images are from above par craft 
um, go and check it out if you don't know her store wonderful Etsy seller so this is a napkin and then these are the little tickets So it might not seem like much, but this took like forever to make with all the inside and, and the fact that it's all handmade. So, so those are all the little folder books that I have that are going to be on sale in my Etsy store. You can check out the link down below and, I, and the name that I gave you is going to be the name in the store. Now I made some painty borders, so I've got three sets of painty borders. I've got some pink ones, pink and purple, and then I've got the green, and then I have the blue-green. So let's do the blue-green first. So these borders are nine inches, so are the ones in the, uh, the book. I believe they're nine inches, let me just verify just to make sure. No, they're seven and a half these. I didn't use the same papers for this. So these are all the blue-green. So though the individual borders are uh, seven and a half. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven borders and they're all unique, obviously. And on the back, it's a calendar. So those are the blue-green ones. So blue green we said one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I need to place them so I'm just taking notes because I'm not sure I documented that so then I've got the pink and you can see some of the Asian uh, language borders so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the pink. And obviously the it depends, the number depends on the size of the borders. So these might be wider than, than the blue-green one. It's done on the same type of uh, paper. And I will be sharing in a video soon on how I made those. And then you've got the green one. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven of the green. So, like I said, there, there's some of them are smaller than on the other set, so that's why there's more. And obviously, they're all unique. So, even if I was to make other ones, they will never be the same. Okay, then uh, I've got. A set of those painty flowers so like I said two two and a uh, three two and a half and one and three quarters so painty flowers then I made a set of those uh, big paper clip uh, with the the beautiful lace that I just love so there's five of them in the set and I just really really love the vintage look of these those are in the store and I've got two sets of those so and uh, then I've got two sets of these little um, uh, paper clips those are the one like the ones I've used in the albums so both sets have all of these charms in them and I just on them I just love those charms I chose them specially for um, for doing this so there's a little flower a little sun a little bow these are little kids uh, uh, kissing and then there's a little heart so I've got two sets of those and then I have some other sets of um, the border ones and these there's five on each and they're all different so this one I'm gonna call the theater one because it reminds me of the theater so you've got a little a uh, dancer, you've got this little mask, then you've got this little arp, then you've got this little mask, and this little dancer again. So those are the five. You've got those five. 
and I really love how they look in a journal. So we've got those fives. Then I've got here, those are all angels. So I've got five uh, little angel ones. So got this little angel and got this one with a little heart. And then you've got this one in a little heart and this one that's thinking and this little guy that's praying. So you've got five of the little uh, angel ones. And then uh, I have these which are miscellaneous. Um, so this one has a little, a little umbrella. And you've got one with a little bow. And you've got one with a little cameo. I really love that one. I just adore this one, the tree. I just think that one is so elegant. And then you've got this one, which is really pretty too. So those five. And then I made two little um, little toilet paper roll albums. Um, one of my subbies mentioned something which I thought was brilliant. Uh, she mentioned putting Lysol on the toilet paper roll to kill all bacteria. So that's what I did for these ones. And I've used my painty papers um, to cover them. And I've put a charm, a dangly charm, because I just love dangly charms. So they're really uh, embellished just like a little album. I've used some of my ephemera pieces. So these are actually um, four inches by two and a half. There's 14 pages, so basically 28 overall. There's two charms, um, two little paper clips with little charms, like we saw uh, in the other set, and two with a little lace. And I've put in eight ephemera pieces in there. So there's all kinds of papers, and some of the ephemera pieces is uh, little um, things like that that I've made with index cards and. Uh, some different embellishment and paper uh, scrapbooking paper so so this is one of them and it ties like this and the inside is covered as well as you can see uh, but not with painty paper but with the coordinating i really love how that one turned out i have to admit that these little albums really stole my heart so this is the other one and this is the charm that I've put and it has little keys and then you open it up and it has the same number of uh, pages and same size but different ephemera pieces obviously and different little um, little charms so that's the other one okay and then I've made two sets of postcards and you're gonna see me make those postcards so the first set I'm, I'm putting out here is the everyday life that's what I'm calling it so you've got this image this the farm life so all the they're all on like this and this is painty paper that I've made and you will see me make so then this one says everybody helps on the farm this one says today is full of possibilities I love this little guy and then you've got a mom and a daughter cooking. So this is what family looks like. So this is called my everyday life uh, set of postcard. And I really think could make a nice embellishment for a journal, but it can also be used obviously as postcards. And then you've got the birds, the hummingbirds. Uh, no, not they're not called hummingbirds. What are they? Uh, they're... What are they? I don't remember what they are. I have... Anyway, they're going to be called the birds because I forget what their name. It says the Phoebe is a friendly little, light, little bird. So here's one that says delightful and you've got explore life, friends fly, and then you're capable of becoming more than you realize. So those are the four in this set. And again, fancy papers and uh, book pages and old images from uh, Encyclopedia. And then I've made a bunch of new ephemera pack sets. So you've got 
I've, I've put out three more. Of, well, actually, there's four in my in my uh, store of um, 25 pieces of ephemeras. I won't be sharing those with you guys. They're all mixed, and uh, I don't put pictures for those. This one is a darker one because I know not everybody likes tarot cards and that sort of thing. And I have all kinds of things that are a bit scarier. So this one is the shining card, then there's desolation moon, which I thought was scarier. Then you've got uh, monster high cards, uh, Casper the ghost, uh, different. Then you've got this here, which is a spell card, justice. Then here, the Adventure dungeon and dragon. This is alien. Uh, I thought this was kind of funny in a darker side of thing. The 777, I just had to put that in there. Little, then there's Divination Sorcery. This is a magic deck. I've added this one. Then a zombie card. Then this one here, which is uh, the Law of Attractions and different things. The little skeleton. Uh, and then uh, this, uh, a tarot card. Uh, here is burnout so for somebody that likes darker type of things this is for you uh, and there's a, a napkin as well so this is 25 pieces of ephemera I think there's actually 26 pieces but so those are the darker sets so I'm sharing these because they're different and there's only one of those then I've made um, three sets of 50 pieces. So this one is called Calm. So I'm going to share these with you because those are specific sets. Um, so you've got all kinds of ephemeras and uh, some in French. So playing cards, um, paper money, tiny little playing card. This one is Mickey Mouse. And uh, all kinds of different ephemera so there's 50 pieces in all um, European card uh, all kinds of good items there's the owl I thought that was a nice uh, card there's a lot of people that like owls this one I thought would be a great um, prompt for a journal so imagine an histoire heureuse so imagine a um, happy story then you've got this one here this old uh, vintage tickets and it's called calm because I've put a flower card and this is matricaire and it, it means it's for calm so that's why I've, I've called this set calm so this is all that's included in this set of 50 pieces obviously every time I've got multiples of something I only count it as one piece so that's the first set and those sets go by pretty fast usually. So this one I'm calling Hello Kitty because there's two pieces of Hello Kitty in there. Um, so you've got different pieces again of different things. I've tried to make all the sets like really different so that there isn't, if you're purchasing multiple sets, um, you won't be getting the same thing. The only thing is, uh, raconte nous ton histoire heureuse. So it's the same type of card, but different uh, story. So this is one of the little Hello Kitty um, papers. So, and obviously, like this is ephemera that there's no, I don't have uh, two or three of the same type of thing. So they're all a bit different. This one has a dolphin some playing cards and uh, some uh, bridge cards and all kinds of goodies like that so they're great for um, embellishing your journals or junk journals and this is the second Hello Kitty um, little thing it's a little um, writing uh, notepad so there's two pages of that and two pages of the other one so that's the L3 one and then the last uh, set I'm calling the nine of spades because there's a nine of spades in there okay so there's other things a tiny little uh, 
scrapbook page. And there's the nine of spades. It's pretty big. You can see it takes my whole end. Some more of the little Hello Kitty. Uh, little uh, pieces like that. Some uh, an old uh, postcard, bookmark, a little um, uh, napkin, then more cards. Uh, I love these ones. They're uh, a game called Machine um, Impossible Machine, and I just love the steampunkish look of this. And then you've got jumbo card, tiny card, bingo card, some French uh, book paper, but you also have two images with this. You've got some uh, Asian paper. And all kinds of goodies in here, receipts. Um, Some recipe cards so many many different little pieces so those are the the sets of 50 that I have in my store and like I said those went uh, relatively fast last time and I don't make them uh, that often just because it takes a while to take 50 different pieces of ephemera for my stash and make sure that the sets are different so that's why i don't do those sets too often now this here is a set a special set it's uh, 50 playing cards and they're all different so every single one is coming from a different type of deck so and i try to keep the uh images the the um, numbers varied so that it wouldn't be all the same so you've got all kinds of different cards um and like i said they're all from different playing games and uh, I just love this because it's in French instead of being like usual which is the cue for the queen and this one is a casino we'll use it again in the casino and obviously cheat this one is uh, the four the four oh uh, the 40 cards I just uh, they're like I said they're different so you've got different uh, sets of cards and even though they might look similar because they might have the but they're different um, so over the hill and you've got some vintage cards in here and you've got the tiniest little thing ever like you can see even the tiny cards look big compared to that tiny little one so Las Vegas uh, and uh, this is Mickey Mouse of Florida. And you've got these here. So very different, all of them. So two more casino uh, cards. This one, instead of putting a hole, they cut the corner. So there's a set of 50 of these. So see, even if they're similar, they're not the same. So there's 50 playing cards in here, and uh, that's a special set that I've put out. So I don't know if there's going to be interest for this. Um, you guys let me know. And uh, that is it. So hope you like it. Hope um, that some of the stuff that I made will interest you. And uh, that's it for now. So see you soon.